Hi everyone, this is Stacy, one of the youth service librarians at the Worcester Public Library. Hopefully everyone's home safely, really comfy, reading, relaxing, doing some schoolwork, spending time with your family. Um, so I have a question for you kids, and answer honestly. How many of you are still in your pajamas? Really? Me too. I'm still in my pajamas. So I thought I'd read a story to you all and let's just be extra comfy and cozy when we read together. Okay? How does that sound? So first, I want to start by grabbing my favorite blanket. Grab your favorite blanket. Make sure to grab your favorite stuffed animal. This is my favorite stuffed animal. This is Big Doggy. And then if you have a favorite kid, a brother, a sister, or a favorite grown-up that you want to share the story with, grab them too and we'll get started. So today I'm going to be reading one of my favorite books. This is The Night Gardener by the Fan Brothers. Terry and Eric Fan both wrote and illustrated this book. The, illustrated, the illustrations are the pictures in the book. I love this book so much because the pictures are just beautiful. I just wanted to start by thanking Simon and Schuster for giving us permission to read this book. So thank you, Simon and Schuster. Now let's start the book, The Night Gardener by Terry and Eric Fan. William looked out his window to find a commotion on the street. He dressed quickly, ran downstairs, and raced out the door to discover the wise owl had appeared overnight as if by magic. William spent the whole day staring at it in wonder. He continued to stare at it until it became too dark to see. That night, he went to sleep with a sense of excitement. Why do we think William was excited? Let's see. The following morning, William was not disappointed. Each day, William discovered a new topiary. Topiary? That's a new, a new word. Can you say it with me? Topiary. Good job. That's just basically another meaning for shrubs or trees that have been cut into fancy shapes. Like these two were cut into a friendly rabbit and a pretty parakeet. This one was cut into a playful elephant. With each new sculpture, the crowds grew and grew. Something in was happening on Grimlock Lane. Something good. The next day, William dashed out of his home and followed the crowds only to find... What do you think he found this time? Could it be a zebra? bird. Let's find out. The most magnificent masterpiece yet. Oh my goodness, it's a beautiful dragon. The work looks like it's getting a little fancier. Now it looks like the night gardener used two trees to make the dragon. Festivities continued long after the sun had set. As William was about to head home, he spotted someone unfamiliar. Could it be?
The gentleman turned to William. There were so many trees in this park. I could use a little help. It was the night gardener. Under the light of a full moon, they worked deep into the night. William awoke to the sound of happy families walking by and a gift from the night gardener. So William's gift are garden and shares. So garden and shares are just really big clippers. They use them for um, cutting trees and shrubs. And in this case, the night gardener is using them to cut shapes into the shrubs. The whole town had come out to admire the night gardener and William's work and their hard work. Okay, so what do we see here? We see a whale, a rhino, what else? Looks like a bear, a camel, and a giraffe. Wow, that certainly took them all night. Over time, the leaves changed. And then fell until there was no evidence the night gardener had ever been to Grimlock Lane. But the people of the small town were never the same. Okay, so I want you to look closely at this picture. What's different about this picture than the rest of them? Um, let's flip back and look through the other pictures really quickly. Notice anything different about the other ones? They are beautiful, but they are definitely not, not as bright as this one. So maybe the town was a little happier, a little more excited. So the people of the town were never the same. And neither was our friend William. The end. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I did. Just wanted to remind everybody to keep reading 20 minutes a day. Even though you're not in school, you want to make sure to remember all the good reading that you learned and continue to enjoy books. Okay, bye-bye.